of my Leica M8. Um, in uh, this is the one I use really for well all the time for street. Uh, it's for street photography. Uh, it really is just a superb camera, absolutely superb. Um, this one I use um, mainly a 50 millimeter Canon Serenar lens. It's uh, an old uh, screw lens uh, with an M mount adapter on it. Um, got a, an aluminium Ilford uh, hood on there. Uh, it really is a fantastic uh, piece of glass. Very sharp. Uh, it's an f1.8, so it's ideal for wide open in street photography. Uh, this um, I, have, I have on this camera a thing called a thummy, which is a, a lot of people. Uh, you know, the most popular one is the thumbs up, which attaches to your flash hot shoe and then goes along there, and you have basically like a sticky out thumb grip on there. Uh, it certainly improves the handling of the camera. I mean, you can just sit there like that in your hand all day long. It's like having the old winder, um, but this this one is fantastic. It just sticks on with the same as if they put car badges on with. Uh, and uh, I mean, it's just there, solid, doesn't move an inch. You know, I can easily just hold that in one hand, like that. Um, I use, uh, I have a um, an artisan and artist uh, half leather case. Um, it's uh, very well made, lovely thick leather on it. It's um, exceptionally thick leather for a half case. I don't know if you can just make out the. Uh, thickness of that leather there. It's a good um, three millimeters thick, maybe four. Fits an absolute treat. And I'll attempt to get it out one-handed. Here we go. Okay. So that's that's the case. It's this sort of nice green sort of leather inside, black outside. Artisan and artists. These retail for about £150, I think. Mind you, by the time you get it into the UK, you'll have to pay import duty, but I got this from a UK camera dealer um, for £75, so I've chopped a bit for that. Um, so I've got a screen protector on the back. Can't really see it. Um, but yeah, as you can see, that thummy is superb. So yeah, this uh, the lens is uh, really nice. Brings up the 50mm uh, frame lines, and of course the M8 compensates for that because it's more like a a 60. I think it's like a 64mm something like that with the 1.33 crop factor. Um, very w nice weighty piece of uh, kit actually. The weight of it's quite amazing, but it certainly gives you a solid feel. You've got a a, a an infinity lock there for to actually lock well as it says to lock the uh, the focus to infinity I'll just clip that back on there there we go so I would recommend for street it's, it's very uh, inconspicuous uh, I, I was recently in Liverpool and an old boy came up to me and he said he said oh I haven't seen a film like it for years and uh, I was I said, well, it's digital. And uh, he was absolutely amazed that, because he, he used to do street photography, um, and he used to use a Leica. He thought it was an old Leica. He thought it was like a, you know, an MP or something, or, or an M7, or, a, or even an M6. Uh, so there's a, you know, there's a lot of people say, oh, you know, reliability problems or noise at high ISO, but high ISO um, with streets, same when the lights going, and you can, I mean I always mainly convert to black and white in a Photoshop or Lightroom, uh, and it just looks like film grain. Um, it really, you know, it looks like they were taken, it's the most film-like digital I've ever, uh, I've ever used. 
Uh, I absolutely, you know, it's, it's, some, it's not just something, it's something you can behold, you know. You can, uh, if ever, the, ever there was such a thing as camera porn, um, then this is it, without a doubt. It's a beautiful camera. I'm just waiting for a, a strap from America, a leather strap it's called a Gordy strap. Uh, there's a guy there in America who makes these straps himself. Um, that's the that's my only criticism with it is the standard strap is this big chunk of like rubbery ping pong back kind of material. That's supposed to it does stop it sliding off your sleeve, you know, off your shoulder. Um, but I tend to. I'll only carry the camera on my shoulder. So I'm going to a shop, get a cup of coffee or, or whatever. Uh, but normally I, I carry it with a strap wrapped around my wrist, kind of thing, sort of like that. And then carry it like that, so it's wrapped around my wrist. But you've got this big chunk of rubber, and it all just gets in the way. So there you are. But uh, I would highly recommend anyone thinking of getting an M8 to take the plunge. I sold uh, I sold a 350D with three lenses uh, and a Canon G9 uh, to get this. Well, and, and I sold uh, a load of mo motorbike parts as well. But um, certainly the best uh, investment I've ever made. And the Chrome looks great. Black. I had. A, I, had I did have a black M8 a few years ago um, with this lens on it but it just didn't look right <laughs> plus everyone knows the uh, the chrome ones take better pictures than the black ones so there you go um, I don't find a problem with the uh, the switch there a lot of people say you can just knock it off quite easily but I don't I don't find a problem with that it's actually quite it is actually quite stiff actually I don't get a problem with that. I normally shoot on aperture priority, um, but I mean you can you can go down you know manually say about 500 or 250 uh, as long as you you got it around about set at about f11 or f8 you're going to be roughly in the right ballpark and you can always fix it in Photoshop afterwards or camera raw. So, got it switched on there. A nice simple menu. I've got a UVI filter, a UV filter, uh, on my other lens, which is a. I'll just untangle my hand from the strap there. Uh, this is a. This is a Voigtlander 35 millimeter. Uh, very very nicely made lens. Uh, you get a very good quality glass, good quality solid construction. Um, at a fraction of the price of. Leica lenses. Uh, it's a proper N mount lens, there's no adapter on it. Proper N mount on there, and I've got it coded as well. Uh, I bought a, a stencil uh, from America, it cost probably less than about less than a fiver to get it here to the UK, and you place it on the back of the, of the M mount, and uh, you mark it with a Sharpie fibre tip pen and the camera recognises it so it recognises that I have a 35mm lens on the camera and it's got a UVIR filter on it as well so in there it's um, what makes it B and W, B and w or B plus W and a hood 39mm hood so that serves that purpose I use a 35mm for mainly sort of buildings or street graffiti, that kind of stuff, and then I use the uh, the 50 millimeter for people street photography. Um, I don't have a UVIR filter on that, mainly because it's an odd size. It's a foot. I think it's a 40.5 millimeter uh, filter screw thread, and you just can't get UVIR filters in that size. Um, but as I said before, uh, when it comes to people, street photography, then uh, I always convert to black and white anyway.